Pete Rob, welcome to Horsehead Bookends for another weekly recap. Week five, the last week in July. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing weekly vlogs, but if I do, I will definitely uh, post them. First thing, hit 330 subscribers. That's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. We go over a lot of stuff here, so you'll get notified anytime I upload a new video. Maybe when I hit 350, I'll do some sort of free giveaway, but I don't know. Not that much to talk about this week because it's been crazy busy at work. I'm absolutely exhausted from the week. So let's start with some of my vinyl pickups for the month of July that weren't part of Record Store Day. Now, I already did my Record Store Day haul and I'll post the link right there in the corner. And there was a few things that I wasn't able to get and they finally came in, I got them online. And what I was waiting for to come in was the Studio One Scoffire and Funk 70 both from Soul Jazz Records. Got these from Creep Records out in Pennsylvania. They sent them super quick. Uh, I didn't think they were gonna come this week, but, cause I didn't, they had a tracking number, but for some reason it wasn't tracking through the Postal Service tracking, but that happens. So just got them, can't wait to open them up and play them. Okay, aside from everything on Record Store Day, there wasn't a lot of pickups this month, me personally, cause I was saving <laughs> for record store day, which I went a little bananas on. I, I thought, I didn't think I was going to, but I wound up buying more than expected. So the only other two albums not part of record store day. The first one is uh, December from Trey Anastasio and Paige McConnell from Fish. This was them performing at the barn and uh, I haven't opened it yet, but this was a pre-order I think from Fish Dry Goods and it probably has it, I think is one of the best squirming coils uh, on there. I mean, there are a lot of good ones, but this one is awesome. So I got this one. It's on barn colored vinyl, which is a weird brownish vinyl. Uh, there have been some reports of the vinyl actually being dirty uh, from, I guess, the distribution center. So I, I don't know what it sounds like yet, but if it does sound scratchy, I will definitely let you know. And the only other vinyl I picked up in the month of July is one that I pre-ordered and it's one that I've been hunting for a long time and couldn't find it and they did a remaster of it and that is Oingo Boingo's first album, Only a Lad. This was done by um, Rubellin Remasters and I got the, um, the blue and orange splatter vinyl. That's what it looks like, it's very pretty. So they did um, two different presses, both of a limited run of 500. There's blue and orange and some other color, I think. Blue and yellow, yellow and green, I, I don't remember. But so happy to add this to my collection. This is going to uh, get spun a lot and I've, I've opened it, so I've played it. I've, I've probably spun about three or four times already. So no video games this week, no board games this week. Like I said, it's been crazy at work, but one thing that we haven't talked about in a while is Disney. They've been, there's a lot of rules changing with the whole COVID situation spiking. Um, and there was something else I had to talk about, but I can't remember right now, but it'll come to me. But I just, you know, let me think for one second and go, um, um, let me take you with me and, and I'll show you. So, um, like I said, we haven't really talked about Disney much because I uh, decided to come on, come on down. So this is really my view right now, what I'm looking at. So that's our view right now. See Space Mountain's right there. There's a castle, Astro Orbiter. It is very, very hot. So the new mask mandate went into effect uh, yesterday on the 30th. Basically any indoor, any indoor spaces you need to wear a mask, but as long as you're outdoors, you don't have to have one on. And that really hasn't discouraged anyone from coming. It's been super, super crowded.
but I have to say the cast members so far are doing a terrific job with uh, the huge influx of people and uh, we're having a great time so far. So we're here for a few days. I'll film what I can. If it's interesting, I will definitely post it. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe, ring the notification bell. You'll get notified anytime I upload a new video. Any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, talk to you later.